people, I'm Shinktarius and I'm finally updating again. Can you believe it? Yeah, hitting a bad head-on. Anyway, uh, going back down here is way easier than going up there, for obvious reasons. And yeah, the exit was now moved. Yep, that's what Hexor does. Makes us do more stuff. Uh, to be fair, that means more level, which tends to be better than just ending things earlier. Unless, I don't know what, if it were like two levels separated, it would mean that in case you forgot a thing or two, you could just return back to individual maps with more ease. But anyway, the Shroud Lab is back. Uh, and we have our with awesome again. So, wait, I kind of forgot uh, how to cripple him. Doesn't, don't I? Yeah, I just have to do that, and then I just have to spam boomerangs forever and do this for a while again to hit really hard. And he should be. Whoa! Did I actually die? Wow, I'm surprised that happened. Anyway, I was being way too reckless. So if I, you know, just get a little bit more careful and heal a bit, it should be fine. Alright, how about we don't be stupid right now? Alright, now he's gonna open his mouth and boomerangs of the boomerangs forever. Oh, by the way, I noticed that big old ball he shot at me. Uh, actually healed him, so that's actually why oof, he didn't just, you know, implode, because he healed a bunch of damage. Actually, I don't think that was a lot of damage, but it was some damage, so it counts. Alright, so let's boomerang him again, and he's gone. Alright then, peace. Yep, he certainly existed. And was there. Alright, so now let's get rid of uh, Mentos Reaction because... Uh, <laughs> that was just pathetic. But anyway, since we've beaten the Shroudlar uh, here, he shouldn't be an issue again, at least so soon. By the way, it's really not worth... Mm, actually, I wonder if you can fry those plants by using a spell. That would probably help you not get hit, but eh, is it really worth it? Did I seriously hit me? Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, 3D and a cube. This is really dumb, but what you have to do is... Yeah, climb here because it's solid for some reason. And this allows you to warp zone your way here, which in turn gives you this little secret place with some very precise jumps, but it shouldn't be too bad. Even if... Wow, I'm surprised I dodged that. Even if you get hit every now and then, you can always blast off or correct yourself with mental distraction. And given that you have enough health, you're not gonna die from being too damaged. I mean, I'm doing a pretty bad job of not doing that, but anyway, we were victorious, we got a old snap, and this should be pretty much the end of this distortion, if I recall correctly. And I do recall correctly. Alright. Yeah, finally, the ship. Oh, okay, that cutscene ended. And we're just thrown right into the fray without any sort of bomb or circumstance. You're just there and you're being blown up. But thankfully, oh, actually, we have to fight the Shroud Lord here again. I kind of forgot that, but uh, yeah, he shouldn't be too hard. Even if. Oh, damn it. Time to equip with Awesome again. Uh, even if we're being pelted with explosions everywhere. He shouldn't be too bad. Alright, especially if we push ourselves against the wall, which, of course, is still very helpful. And there he goes! 
yeah, that was easier than the last one for some reason. Well, I mean, if a place is large enough to, for a plane to take off, it kinda qualifies as an airfield, doesn't it? Even if it's just, I don't know, a mud road? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, <laughs> that would probably be nerve-wracking. So, yeah. Alright, time to play some Toho. This, this is the reason I took so long to record this video in particular, because I'm terrible at but hell and you have to beat the high score if you want to get a skill point and get 100% and I wanna do that and and it's a pain. It's just a pain. I mean, getting through this place normally is very easy but beating the high score isn't. Alright, hopefully this won't take too many tries. So yeah, what you need to do to get a high score is pretty much keep grazing the bullets because this multiplies your score and of course don't forget to grab every point star you can get because otherwise well you're just not gonna get points I mean you're always getting a constant stream every time you hit an enemy but otherwise man I should have gotten some grace with that guy but uh, it shouldn't matter too badly all right so this is probably the formation that gives you the most grace because yeah that's kind of kind of great but uh, I didn't actually kill that guy which it's probably gonna be an issue oh no I don't get kill that ship either yeah and after some time there's just so much stuff it's in the screen you kind of have to balance yourself between actually killing enemies grabbing score items and trying to get grace and it's not the most obvious thing in the world uh, trying to figure out which is more important which yeah is why this isn't very easy all right uh, we are the sub boss with some amount amount of grace I wonder if this is decent enough. Alright, the first fa phase is pretty easy, you just gonna, you know, kinda keep over here and shoot him a lot. And alright, now in the second phase, let's not actually kill him as fast as possible, let's leave him at a very little amount of health. And then we're gonna just dodge and graze as much as possible, get real close to the bullets but without getting hit. Thankfully, we kind of have a ton of life, so that makes this easier. All right, I have uh, 160 grace, that's okay. And now the best thing to do is to, to just get real close and dodge, because this phase is probably the one that gives you, man, that was terrible, uh, the largest amount of grace of them all. Did I seriously get hit there? Come on and it's not too hard to dodge so yeah just keep on dodging until you eventually succeed if you don't suck okay now we are on track if this is right with by on track i mean but hell is pretty difficult when your attention is split yeah, who would think that? Alright, but hopefully I won't mess up too badly this time. I wonder if the amount of grace I have is enough. I don't know. Alright, thankfully this is also probably the longest spell card of them all. Alright, time to kill this guy. And... We have... Oh, come on! That was so close! Ugh! 
more trouble than it's worth. Yeah, that 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 sums it up. That sums it up. Well, thankfully we can just redo this whenever. All right, try time to try this again until I'm eventually successful, I guess. Turns out, playing Toho paid off. Hooray! We just got finally the skill point. Oof! I'm glad that's over. I am so glad that's over. By the way, why isn't there a star here? Huh? That's... weird. And also unsettling. I'll pay attention, I'll figure that out off screen. Anyway, let's go to the view detritus. Yeah, there's a muffin, and. Oh, the artist himself is here. Interesting. Okay, then. And here's a Shop Yoshi. Alright, let's just. You know, buy everything and we should be set. And we also don't have a huge surplus of money. Also, there's combat happening off screen. Yep, just Samus and Link casually facing off against each other. Also, I'm pretty sure Link can just, you know, explode his sword like that. Yeah. Alright, this place is kind of a thing. Oh, yeah. As you know, you should notice, uh, thanks to the very fact that this place has a freaking map of its own. But yeah, this is kind of a mini Metroidvania of its own. And what? Eh, let's just spend money on things we can spend. Alright, uh, let's equip Mental Direction, Blast Off, Water Barrier, Zephyr. Yeah, I think we are set for we what we have to do. Alright, so this place has a ton of new enemies and they are all very dangerous. The Sand Go in particular is very annoying because it tends to appear out of nowhere and be a pain in general, but thankfully it's not you know, very dangerous. By the way, I think this is a upgraded bone pillar. Yeah, mostly because it's actually called a red skull, despite being actually white, as bone tends to be. Alright, uh, don't worry, surf. Yeah, 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 it shouldn't be too bad, but I think, yeah, it has a ton of health, comparatively. By the way, oh, the shrouds are gonna attack. Wonderful. So, yeah, what? What should we have equipped? Alright, first we probably should have the stun bead because that's gonna be very helpful. 
Uh, what is this? Trapids? That's not gonna be very helpful. Uh, this, on the other hand, is, and this increases physical defense. You know what? That's better than attack for our purposes right now. And, okay, the shards are here. The shards are here. Alright, should be... Yeah, yeah, I would love to have some help, Blazing. Alright, please blow them up real good. Uh, yeah, that was some damage, but not quite enough. And we're getting spirit drained. Wonderful. Alright, let's just, you know, spam a lot. Our spirit is gonna get drained regardless, so... Yeah, uh, thankfully, spamming mental extraction, not too bad. <laughs> Come on, Jeremy, that wasn't a good job. I just kinda sat there and pressed buttons, took a ton of damage, and then I won. That's the opposite of a good job. That's more of a fluke. Alright, weak to wind, even more weak to water. And this guy doesn't seem like, you know, very dwarf uh, fighting, crippling. Because, yeah, you can just stun lock it. So it shouldn't be too bad. Ooh, this guy, I remember he's ridiculously resistant to pretty much everything. And yeah, he's gonna at least attack you once regardless. And okay, thankfully you can stun lock him. And ooh, this is a new kind of mechanic. And this mechanic will return and get used in creative ways, but yeah, you can, the big old text box explains everything. By the way, big old text box stood way too much time on screen, but thankfully that wasn't much of an issue. Alright, but first things first, I think I'm gonna clean up the upper paths here and then I'm gonna clean up everything else. Alright, this place is kinda clever here. Uh, what you have to do is First, you have to get your Earth Shift equipped, and I think I already have Zephyr set. Yep. Alright, so let's get this going. <laughs> By hitting a fireball, of course. But yeah, that's how you get over here without. Oh, and the Mudbang flicked uh, Spirit Drain too. That's not obnoxious at all. Alright, but thankfully we should be next to... Okay, a screen transition. Sweet. And you know what? I think this is a decent stopping point. In the next episode, we're going to do more exploring in this place. So, till then!